Hey man, this is Chris at Phonecats, and this is Sonic Dash. Um, first off, look at these Game Center high scores. I don't even know what number that is, but so far I've gotten 4,000, so I'm feeling pretty uh, scrubby here. Alright, let's get to some gameplay. There's different characters. Amy's the cheapest. I don't even know why they made her the cheapest. Amy. Alright. Um, from what I've seen from other vids, honestly, it was Touch Arcades. If you buy other characters, you don't get new moves or new content. But let's start off with all the high points about this. This game is so visually stimulating. Um, there's some distinct baddies. You got the spikes, you got the coins, and there's some really cool new, uh, kinda newish mechanics. Like, if you hit those lasers when the light's on, you'll die, which seems to be every time. Um, you can power up your power-ups, and that's what I'm slowly working on. This is some, like, little mini DDR session, and I've lost if you don't have your finger right on the spots. You can move while in air, and you can do back and forths. You can do back and forths in the air, and you can do chain down spins, but sometimes you'll hit a wall. Okay, speaking of hitting walls, there are some funky... Some funkiness. Ooh! Um, if you hit a wall, you die, and you can, uh, use their in-game currency to respawn. But yeah, we'll deal with that when we get there. Homing attack, son! Tap them. Oh! How am I still alive? That's fine. Why, I don't even know what that Tiki Skull is. Left, up, down. Oh, no! Gonna spend that money, spend that money. No! Ugh. Oh. Nah, uh, I'm not even gonna redo it. Oh, that was good for me. 12k. These hints are kind of annoying me. Like right now, I just wanted to replay again, and normally there's an orange button on the bottom, and instead there's that button right there. I was wondering when those hints were gonna go away, but I've actually been playing for a while. <laughs> I think this game logs your time. Let's see if we can check it out real quick. Uh, meanwhile, there isn't too much of a story like, there's none. I mean, it's not like a, a quest to save Amy or anything like that. Uh, where's my deep info? They log everything. You'll feel like World of Warcraft when you're... Whatever, I can't find it. Let's look at the, the store. Okay, so these are one-time purchases that you can make. And they'll just give you a little boost. Oh, I just bought a super head start. And I did that for you, not for me. I wanted to save it. <laughs> um, here's the things that I've been spending my money on so far, and these are like powering up your power-ups. Oh, I didn't even use my boost. All right, we gotta do another run. You can buy coins straight up if you want. They have $50 versions. $49.99 for, I almost clicked it on accident. And there was something recently in the news about a kid that spent a whole bunch of money, and then there's some op free ring opportunities which uh, you might want to take advantage of. So let's do another gameplay. I got my power up thing. I'm gonna use it. Should be. Oh, Super Saiyan! You know what I'm saying? Oh my god, this is like a lot of a boost, and then I die immediately. Stick with it. I'm gonna buy new lives on this. This is a high score run. What a feeling. I'm gonna be doing some downspin chains. Ooh. Show you something visually stimulating. Ah. Up. Okay. Um. So there's a lot that I like about this game. Here's what I don't care for. Okay. Did I just revive? Because I wanted to revive there. I was trying to be quick and I hit the wrong button. I'll just play again. I had coins, man. What if I hit that and I just lost all my coins and it let me keep going? And it was more akin to, like, the real way Sonic was. That's what I wanted. Um, this is worthy of going deeper. Like, with the way some of the in-app purchases are and the way some of it feels... I don't know. It's like a part of me feels like it's a freemium game that I paid for, but that's just the new. I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't. <laughs> maybe we should tolerate it. 
But whatever. Um, this should have had bosses. Bosses would have been so epic. If this was freemium, just to feel it out. And then you got to, um... Like, if there was a full version that I could buy that had bosses and different levels and, I don't know, just, like, more progression. Maybe some crazy uh, stuff where Tails was with you and there were, like, more combos. Like, go deep with this. They kept it as a shallow, profitable game, which is apparently just the new thing. I bought a Dreamcast. Poppy soundtrack, though. I got my headphones in right now. It's pleasant. This is the the furthest that I normally make it. They start to do some shysty stuff to where, um... What's the temple thing? I already forgot. They'll do some quick stuff to where it's like a, a quick left-right. Another fish? I got those homing attacks down pat. Don't even bring me that. Oh no, I'm getting a little nervous. I will buy new lives. For the sake of this video, power spins! I'm starting to look forward. But it's so fast paced, it's so fun, and it is really like one of those games that you're just gonna hand to people. No! I needed those coins, because nah. What even happened there? Oh my god, that kind of was weird to me. Oh no, triple fish! I respawned. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. Oh my god, please don't die immediately after doing that. Oh my god, what is going on? I just looked at my score. I'm not buying another one. <laughs> oh, I can't! All right, we'll tap out here. Thanks for watching, Funkettes. Watch more vids. Top left is games like Mario. Middle is MMOs for your iPhone or iPad. And then the top right is 100 cool games from 2012. Or head to Funkettes.com. You can pick up your next Android or iPhone for at the mid 200s to 300s. And there's all kinds of funky cases. Thanks for watching, Funkettes.